Hey, you guys. So, um, I'm just sitting around the house today in, in my husband's Snuggie. Drinking some coffee. I'm really sad. I'm really upset today. Um, I can't even get into flipping my trash fan, even though I think that everybody's trash. And I'm, I'm angry and upset and I'm sad. I will put on some uh, lip gloss. Maybe that'll make me feel a little bit better. So, you know, I was having a pretty good weekend and then, do you ever get really tired of social media apps like Twitter and TikTok and Instagram and stuff? So this summer, um, that wasn't a fart, that was my chair. Unless I'm just constantly farting, but that's beside the point. Um, early this summer, my friend Tanya and I, we, we love the Bravo shows, everything on Bravo. You know, this is a reality TV channel, so this is important for me to talk about over here. Tanya watches more than I do. She watches literally everything on Bravo. My husband watches everything on Bravo, Vanderpump Rules, and all the Married to Medicine, and all the we watch all the Housewives. And we also love Las Vegas. And so, earlier in the summer, when they announced BravoCon being in Las Vegas, I think it was, Tanya and I, um, we were like, we should go to Las Vegas for BravoCon. And um, so we both signed up for this thing because um, you can get like, uh, you can win free tickets. They were giving away these two free tickets. And so I knew I wasn't going to win the two free tickets, right? And so it was going to be Alex and my, my best friend, Tanya Jean, and I, my good Judy. We were going to go out to Las Vegas for BravoCon. Alex's cousin lives in Las Vegas. One of our best friends lives out there. We were really excited about it. We got married in Las Vegas at the Cosmopolitan. And so, um, yeah, I was, like, really excited about it. In fact, like, I still get all of these text messages from BravoCon um, to this day. Like, let me pull them up here just a second. Hold on a second. Where's my newest one? Or did I delete it? I don't think I deleted it. I guess I could just put in BravoCon, but hold on a second. Let me see if I can find it. Where is it at? BravoCon. What's not pulling up? Oh. I know, Boo Rally, that's how I feel too. But I was getting all these text messages. I think I deleted it because it just really was upsetting me. And I was getting all these text messages because I signed up for this thing. Because if you had to sign up for the text messages, I think that was the way to win the two free tickets and the VIP passes. And, you know, I never really thought that I was going to win it. Um, Tanya was pretty, uh, Tanya was pretty sure that she was, um, um, she was pretty sure that she was going to win it. But anyway, um, why can't I find it? It doesn't matter. Needless to say, the lip gloss didn't help. I'm very upset. I've been getting daily text messages from BravoCon. Making me feel like, I don't know. We just kind of forgot about it and then we didn't book our tickets or get our tickets and then we didn't book flights or get a hotel room and and then I know Boo Radley, I feel the same way. My little dog is crying because he's upset about it too. And he said, you know, he wanted to meet the dogs of Bravo. And I'm really upset that I didn't get to take Boo Radley to meet the dogs of Bravo. And next year, Boo Radley. So I'm like looking on Instagram and Twitter and TikTok and stuff this weekend. And, and I have several friends of mine that are out at BravoCon, you know? My friend Dakota was like on stage with Garcelle asking her questions, you know, other people were like, my friend Emily was like walking around recording the whole thing on Instagram live. And I'm like, you know, why don't you try to just throw it in our, in our face that we're not there? You know, like seriously, like, isn't it enough that you got to go hang out 
with all the housewives, you know? I mean, except for Drew Sedora. But, um, and, and um, Monica's mom, she wasn't there, I don't think. Was she there? I don't know, but, I mean, she wants to be a housewife, but she's not a housewife. She's a mom of a housewife. Um, now, Marisol's mom, she was the mother of a housewife, right? But anyway, Monica's mom, she's trying so hard. I feel bad for Monica. But anyway, you know, I mean, these friends of mine doing TikToks and Instagram Lives, all these people that I follow that have housewife accounts, they're interviewing all these people, you know, interviewing Kyle Richards and Dorit Kimsley and interviewing, you know, all, Bryn Whitfield from New York. And oh my God, and this one really pissed me off because I know people don't understand it, but I'm a huge, 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 I know Boo Radley, I know he's real upset about it. He's really upset because we both really wanted to meet Marlo Hampton. Um, I am probably the biggest Marlo Hampton fan in the entire world. And a lot of people are like, why do you like Marlo Hampton? She's so nasty and she's so mean. Name a housewife that's not. Let's just be for real, okay? Um, and so, uh, I mean, Brooks Marks was even there. You know, Meredith Marks' son. I know he thinks he's a housewife, but he's not a housewife. I thought he was a fashion designer, but apparently he's a housewife extra, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> He and Mary Cosby are fighting for snowflakes so bad, you know, over there in house, the Salt Lake City. But anyway, um, all these people are interviewing these people. And this, I'm watching this this guy that I follow, right? And he's interviewing this T with, like, I think his name's T with Eddie or something like that. I really like him, right? And I, like, I follow all these people, you know, and I'm watching it. And he's interviewing Marlo Hampton. And I'm like, I am so pissed. Like, why do you have to throw this in our face? Like, seriously? Like, you think you're so grand because you got to go to BravoCon and you got to film these, uh, you know, these interviews and you got to go in the red carpet and you got to go in the, oh, okay, Emily, that you got to go into the VIP room. You think you're so grand and all this kind of stuff. You know what I think? To, I think, I think, I think I have FOMO. I think I have FOMO. I wish I was there. Oh, my God. Even my little dog is upset that he's not there. Anyway, no. I was so jealous, boots down, okay, watching this shit this weekend. I was so happy for my friends. Emily loves the housewife. She loves all that stuff. I was so excited. I was like in her live. I was like, hey, what's going on? Oh my God, I can't believe you're seeing all those people. She was going to all the booths, showing all the booths. Uh, that whole first part was all a joke. I was so happy to see all these people that I follow and all these people that I'm friends with at BravoCon this weekend. It's my stupid fault, okay, that I didn't buy a ticket, that Tawny didn't buy a ticket, and that Alex didn't buy a ticket, we go out there. It's so stupid, right? Like, Alex was even like, you probably could have got a media pass. <laughs> you just have to apply for one, right? I'm like, well, I can buy my own ticket. I don't need a media pass, you know? Um... I'd have happily have bought a VIP ticket to go in there and hang out in the back rooms, you know? Uh, I would have told Vicki Gundelson uh, and Tamara a few things. Trust me that. But anyway, um, and all the pictures, they were all taken together and stuff. Like, I was so happy for them, you know? I was, like, so excited, and I was kind of, like, living vicariously through my friends that were at BravoCon. And in all honesty, I was so happy that they were posting stuff. You, you do get that that first part was a joke, right? Okay. Because I know some people... They can't handle my jokes. But that first part was a joke. And um, I was so happy. And honestly, like, I was, like, reading every tweet that was put out on Twitter about BravoCon, of which there was a lot. I was watching all the clips of the panels. I was watching the live streams that people were doing. I was watching the interviews that people were doing. I was watching the TikToks. I was watching all of it. So I was living vicariously through all of them. It made me so happy. They all seemed, like, so happy to be there. And I was like, I am, I, I called Tanya Jean and I said, next year we are going to BravoCon. I called my friend Nikki and I said, cause she was like, I wish I was at BravoCon. I said, girl, me too. I said, next year we're going to BravoCon. She was like, yeah, my husband wants to go to Vegas. He'll just gamble while we're at BravoCon. I go, Alex wants to go to BravoCon. Tanya Jean wants to go to BravoCon. We're going to BravoCon next year. Okay. I will be there next year. I will be the person that you are jealous of because I will be at uh, BravoCon and I will be like, oh, here I am at BravoCon. Oh, blah, 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 all this kind of stuff. Oh, here's Lisa Renna. Oh, I forgot. She resigned from the show. Um, and I have to say, like, uh, she made for good TV, but I don't, I don't miss Lisa Renna on the show. But anyway, 
But God bless you, Lisa Renna. What's she in that we were just watching the other night? I was like, I didn't know that Lisa Renna was in this. It was an American Horror Story. It was an American Horror Story that we were watching. It was that one about the mo she was under um, modeling agency and all that kind of stuff. Did you know that she was in that? Alice goes, it was in the trailer. I go, well, I didn't see the trailer for the show. It was one where the girl ate that roach, or what was it? A tapeworm. She ate a tapeworm <laughs> roach. She ate a tapeworm, okay? And then the tapeworm grew, and then she had to pull it out of her cooch and all that kind of stuff. It was, or out of her butt, and it was nasty. Did y'all watch that one? Okay. That's the kind of stuff I have to watch because I was so bitter, okay, about BravoCon this weekend. I was so pissed about it. I was so pissed that I wasn't at BravoCon. But next year, I won't be there. I said, Alex, next year I'm going to Las Vegas to go to BravoCon. And you know what he said to me? He goes, babe, you don't even know it's going to be in Las Vegas next year. I was like, oh, that's so true and I love Las Vegas. I don't care, okay? I don't care. I don't care if it's in Tell City, Indiana. I'm going. I'm fucking going, okay? I'm going to book me a motel suite and I'm going. I'm going next year. I'm going to be with all them people, okay? I'm going there. I want to see Adam from Up and Adam. I want to see all my friends. I want to hang out with Dakota and do some food TikToks. I'm going next year, okay? I'm going. I'm going to meet me the housewives. I'm going to go right up to Marlo Hampton. And I'm going to say, girl, I'm your biggest fan ever. Because I love Marlo Hampton so much. I think people always ask me, they're like, why do you like Marlo Hampton? Because Marlo Hampton and I kind of like share similar, not really similar, but kind of some histories of like, you know, making some mistakes and then like trying to clear up things from her past. And they still this day want to throw up her arrest and stuff like that in her face. You know, listen, like that's bullshit to me. That's bullshit to me, you know, when people want to do that. It's like, all these women can do a hundred horrible things, but they still want to throw in Marlo's face something that happened 25 years ago. You know, it's like, let somebody grow and change and evolve. Now, she does say some nasty things from time to time to people, okay? But, you know, it's like, what housewife doesn't? And isn't that what we watch the housewives for eat anyway? Like, are we all wanting them to sit in prayer circles? Like, all this shit that they're doing now with them, them bowls, you know, where they're doing the bowls and the bowls ring. I, that stuff would drive me crazy, okay? I'm good. I'm all down for a good meditation and stuff like that. But don't put me on no housewives to do some yoga, okay? Listen, I'm flexible. I'm not that flexible, okay? I might be flexible for where we're going for dinner, but I can't put my leg behind my neck. Never could. Not even when I was 20. Hi, oh, my husband just came home. I'm talking on my video about how upset I am that I didn't get to go to BravoCon. Well, you didn't buy a ticket. See? Anyway, next year, next year I'm going. So let me know what you think about BravoCon in the comment section below. All the drama, all the stuff. If there's anything from there that you want me to talk about, I will. I love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.